the first historic Formula Ford 1600 race is away, and out of Palmer they come for the first time, and it is Ben Sim from the outside the front row that's made the best notes already starts to gap the pole mount. That's Sam Mitchell as they come down towards Agostini here, but they're side by side further back. That's about fifth position. It's Josh West the outside. Can quite tell who that was on the inside. <laughs> That camera angle up in towards Hamilton and go. Somebody kicking out dust back here at Agostini. I think it could well be McNeil Will Nuttall. And then Pateri Kaviri's behind him as the trio of cars head their way into Oggies for the first lap of the 20 minute race we have here for the historic Formula Ford 1600. We've had a spinner there. A couple of spinners, I think, possibly out of Hamilton, but down the Bentley straight they go. The slip streaming starts here. Ben Sims perhaps with a big enough gap to Sam Mitchell as they head their way down the Bentley straight down towards Brundle and Nelson they go underneath this next turn bridge then they turn through the left hand and then they slow the car down for Nelson when they go out of view and you can see lots of slipstream going on side by side into the corner they want to sort some out hopefully and they head down towards Bob Hall, then towards Corum and to finish the lap off at Murray's and a safety car board, the lights are flashing you can just see the you know, new technology we've had in the last couple of years, the lights flashing there and the leaders have been getting pulled out as they come up across the line it's a safety car now, obviously for the stuff that went on down at Hamilton obviously the driver and the third cars weren't able to get back going so after that first lap, there's Ben Sims at least, Sam Mitchell second, third Dave Quad, fourth Simon Toy, fifth Josh West, sixth and Wimble and Nuttall, eighth Materi Kaviri, uh, Stuart Kestabout in eighth, ninth, uh, Maxim Bartel, and in tenth, James Buxton. It's actually your top ten. Here's one of our smashed up cars. It's been recovered. It's the uh, number 58 car there, the Michael Pertigin. And you can see the damage on the rear there. So that car hope, might not even get the second race later on this afternoon. The second car, that being number 26, John of Slack. Guessing the two cut both cars with rear damage. And I wonder if one spun and the other collected it. Just perhaps with the back of the car. Hard to tell, but safety car's in. We go racing once more then, and it's Ben Sims that still has the lead. He held off Sam Mitchell on the restart, so it's the Jomo that leads from Mitchell in the Merlin. As they turn their way for Agostini, I think Toyne's lost out to Josh West on the restart. Youngster Josh West, he was a, the novice, won the novice races last year. This, um, uh, he won the Norman Greenway Trophy, at Brands Hatch, Norman Greenway Trophy happening. I think it's this race, the first race of the weekend, the Norman Greenway Trophy. Of course, and the big commentators that's left and the actual commentary box here at Snedd, and it's called a Norman Greenway Trophy nowadays. But down the back straight, out Williams they come. It's the long line of these 1600cc Formula Ford machines, and here comes Ben Mi and Sam Mitchell. He's right in the slipstream of Ben Sims. He closes up all the way down the straight. Sims goes to Ben Sims. Outside goes Sam Mitchell. Does he go around the outside? Does he head into Brundle? Can he do this? They're side by side. Ben Sims just about clears the lead. They slow the cars down to Nelson then. They turn through the right part of the corner. Who's going to come out in front? I think it's still Sims ahead of Mitchell. As they hit their way down to Bomb Hole then and then they turn out there and onto Corum Curve they will go. And as they appear it's still Sims ahead of Mitchell. The two of them absolutely tied together. Third position is David Wilder. Well, Josh West leaves this queue of cars as they turn their way through Murray's. Great racing as always as we come to expect with Formula Ford 1600 races throughout the UK. Not just in the historic championship of course today. The first round the champion of France going on down the France hand. Great racing, always provided from the Formula Ford 1600 cars. See these historic cars out there, great to see as well. So it's the Jomo that leads, that's Ben Simmons, the Jomo, GMR7. Leads from Sam Mitchell in the Merlin Mark 20. Third, David Wilde in the Lola T200. Fourth, that's Josh West in the Merlin Mark 28. And then in fifth, Simon, uh, is, yeah, Simon Toy in the Lola T200. So leaders out of Palmer. And I think we could have had a change here. That must have happened down for Richie. He's into the lead. Has come Sam Mitchell. So they turn their way back. It's Dini about a call between them here. Side by side as well. Nuttall tries to come round the outside of Josh West. I think Josh West has also lost out to Simon Toyn. Toyn back up to fourth then. West under pressure from Will Nuttall. So they head their way through Hamilton. Will Nuttall in the Jamin T2. 
best they get onto the brakes into Wargies then. Good battling as they go behind the barriers as they head down towards Williams so we pick up the leaders and in that lead it is Sam Mitchell second Ben Sims you can see these who just starting to break away from third place Dave David Wilde somebody just run out a bit wide and could have been West hard to tell let's see this as we pick them up they're side by side and this is Will Nuttall up on the inside of Josh West as they head into the left hander under the bridge at Brundle and for it, on the inside it's gone Will Nuttall so Josh West started to drop back down it's down to six as the leaders head back towards the end of this end of the lap and we had two safety car laps by the way taking out a good chunk of time about nine minutes so less than ten minutes to go when the restart happened so not long now and Mitchell's by himself here what's happened to Ben Sims him in a spin out of the bomb hole for him and where's he going to rejoin a bit about fifth it looks, let's see as they come up across the line and onto our timing screen. To complete lap five then, in number 40, Sam Mitchell leads, he does a 27.3, the fastest lap of the racer. In second, David Wilde, four seconds down, third is Simon Toyn, fourth wheel up left, Ben Sims, he's in fifth, sixth is Josh West, seventh, Pierre Caveri. And all those cars relatively close together actually. Basically, third back, just about three seconds covering all those cars and we can see them now. So they make their way down towards Agostini. There's David Wilde, followed by Simon Toy and Will Nuttall. That being second, third, and fourth. And Ben Sims off of Agostini. Just a bit of a gap to catch for that scrap for second. You see, Ben Sims, it looked like he flung the car sideways as he turned into Hamilton there. Great driver Ben Sims is, has a Formula 3 car as well that he raises now and again. There's your leader though, that's Sam Mitchell. Now second, third and fourth all together. And now can Will Nuttall do anything about Simon Toy? See Simon Toy checking his mirrors because he knows Will Nuttall sitting there right in the slipstream and he'll be closing. And behind us, nose to tail as well. This is Tretti Kaviri with Josh West looking up on the inside of him as they turn their way into Brundle and done it before the corner. Had Josh West, great move there, using the slipstream to his advantage and to get that place. Great move then from youngster Josh West. And he's his second season of racing. Now we wait for the leaders to appear back down at Murray's. Of course, Sam Mitchell will be in the lead, but of course it's the scrapping behind that we're concentrating on. Because Sam Mitchell looks strong for the victory as he's ballooned his car through Murray. So that's a second, third, fourth. And you can see Ben Sims in fifth, almost close to mid now, so it's wild. Ahead of Troy and Nuttall, and then Ben Sims on the charge. He's in fifth. Sixth position, Josh West, he did get ahead of Bertie Kavir, and then that looks like James Buxton has come up to sixth, but come up to eighth now, the number 60 car, ahead of Stuart Kestebaum, and the round of the top ten is uh, Maxi Bartel, the number five is that the leader, Mitchell, 2069, now Ben Sims, of course he didn't really have the run to the straight, I don't think that lap, but he's closing in that lap, he's for second. David Wilde just ahead of Simon Toy, as they headed into Richie's there, they were nose to tail. Now, and the slipstream has put a change in for second. So it's Mitchell, that's it's Palmer. We're going back to second battle, and yes, it's a change. Simon Toys moves into second ahead of David Wilde. And here comes Will Nuttall now. He's going to try and make a move on Wilde. On the inside, Agostini has got it done. Will Nuttall up to third then. He's moved ahead of the 57 car of David Wilde. Wilde trying to tap back, and Ben Sims has closed him in now with all this scrapping. So Wilde was second across the line. It's down to fourth now. Only half a lap completed. Ben Sims there as well as they all turn that way into Wongi's, the four of them, second, third, fourth and fifth, all together, this will be the penultimate lap of the race, there's the leader then, Sam Mitchell, he's clear of the pack, he's got a six second lead, Simon Toy in second, third nothing now here, possible change the fourth because David Wilde has got Ben Sims, one of the fastest drivers in the championship here, drawing up alongside them. but Mel Wilde in the slipstream of Nuttall, then pulls him ahead of Sims, there you can see the slipstream working at David Wilde up the inside of Will Nuttall, and he's got it done up the third position, a great move from David Wilde, it looked like he was going to lose a place, but then Ben Sims come out of the slipstream, Wilde had the slipstream to Nuttall, and then he put that to effect and dived up on the inside to grab third again.
<laughs> this is just superb racing. Now, this is all allowed. Simon Toy just to break away. He's second. Now Ben Sims all over the back of Will Nuttall. David Wild starting to escape. Lurs Lee will turn their way through Barry Jubilee. Just another lap. They'll be going on to the final lap of the race. Uh, Sam Mitchell doesn't do his fastest lap. It's still lap six. That was his fastest lap. It's like that. Half second slower. That one lap seven. Just completed. And in second place, nearly seven seconds down Simon Toy. But he's got a good second now with David Wilde. Then Will Nuttall fourth. And in fifth is Ben Sims still. Sixth position. No, that's Josh West now. Seventh, Pitty Kaviri. Eighth, James Buxton. And gap back to Stuart Kester around in ninth. Ahead of Maxim Bartel. We complete the top ten. A great scrap here. Just turning their way through Maurice. Much further down the pack. But they're still battling just as hard. Great stuff to see. There's Sam Mitchell. He's just... Making his way down toward Agassiz. It's FPC Toy's got this gap. It's Nuttall. Nuttall back up to third. Yes, he, um, yeah, he was already in third, wasn't he? But Ben Sims in fourth. He's worked his way ahead of David Wilde. So a good move from Ben Sims. Probably at Richie's. There he is, the Jomo. Can he get onto the podium? Looking in the slip street down towards Hamilton. It's not really an overtaking opportunity. But Ben Sims takes a sweeping line through there. Carries a prop, possibly a bit more speed. But Will Nuttall keeps his speed up as well as the cars heading to Augie's then and they just go behind the barriers where we can't really see them so we're head over our on camera shot you can see it to Williams but Sam Mitch was already cleared um, second there's Toy he should have that then Nuttall third fourth Sims he looks in the slip to David Wilde there as well in three for third and now Ben Sims right in the slip he has to dart out there and David Wilde as well they're three wide down the back straight possibly Will not have missed a gear there because it was very early down the straight for them to both go either side of it and it's Sims at third. So Ben Sims onto the podium then after his spin. And you can see already there, he's starting to break away from David Wilde. And Sam Mitchell, we haven't really spoke about him much lately. He's going to come through to win the first race of the weekend here in the HSCC Formula Ford. So Sam Mitchell wins in the Merlin. Second, Simon Toy. Third, Ben Sims has got that. It's a good recovery drive from him. Fourth. He's going to be David Wilde, Will Nuttall's pulled a back, back on that lap. Sixth, Josh West, he's pulled out the gap now with Pitti Kaviri in the Vatty. In eighth is James Buxton. Here's the scrap for nine, that's Stuart Kestenbaum and Maxim Bartel together. Stuart Kestenbaum normally races a Lua Van Diemen, we'll say Lua, still a 1980 car. Um, in 11th, that's Kevin Stansel. And then a gap back to 12th place. This is the big scrap. It should be Lee led by Roland Svensson in the Merlin Mark 17. Yes, it is. He's uh, in that 12th place, just ahead of David Innes, who's got charging up on the inside of him. He couldn't do it. Louis Hanshaw, we've had a spinner, though. He recovers. 